Welcome back everybody. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you three different blending techniques with paint. Uh, we're going to go over a smooth blend, what I kind of call a little bit of like an X pattern or a crosshatch blend, and then finally one that kind of simulates a little bit of a stipple blend. So the first one is uh, going to be a smooth blend, but before you begin, a few things you should know. We got our brushes. Typically for doing a lot of these blends, especially for a smooth blend, I like to use a flat head like this one here. You can use a round or what they call a pointed brush, um, but it's just a little bit more tricky to do that, but you always want to look for the flat head. Um, I'm also going to use a utility brush for the stipple. It works a little bit better, but we can go ahead and use this as well. Um, we got my palettes of paints. Remember, you always want to have paper towel when you paint, and you want to make sure you have water. Okay? Just got to clean those brushes out when we go from one color to the other, or from one technique to another. So. First thing is this, in your sketchbooks, you're going to go ahead and divide a page up into three sections. Okay, um, I use newspaper underneath here, I just got regular paper, but you should be able to easily do that as well. First one is going to be a smooth blend. Now to do this, what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start out with just a little blue to begin with. Okay, Now I'm going to actually <laughs> go from one color here, I'm going to go from blue to kind of a green. I kind of mix this up a little bit. And so I want to go ahead and I'm going to take some of my green color that I have next here. I'm just kind of doing this green here on the fly. I'm going to put a little bit of this green right next to it. Now, you want to make sure that you have these colors right next to one another, but you got to work kind of quickly because you don't want to do it when it dries. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got these two colors right next to each other. I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to wiggle it in between here. Now, on paper too, what happens is a lot of times the paint will get absorbed in and it sometimes dries quickly. But if you work quick enough, you should be able to get a nice smooth blend on this. Now, also too, it is kind of picking up a little bit of some of the light in here, so it looks a little bit shiny. You may not be able to see the blend, but you can see there's a nice little transition on the way down here. Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab a little bit more of a lighter green, so we're going to do a nice little light transition here. I'm going to go ahead, take a little bit of a lighter green. I should probably mix that up a little bit better here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of put this in through here. And I could take a pure yellow, but unfortunately, that pure yellow would probably get a little bit of green here. So you want to wiggle again and just very gently run your brush right over the top of that. Okay? All right, so go ahead and kind of clean this up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brush really good here. Sorry about my, my arms and in your way here. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my water or my brush. All right, wipe it off a little bit. For the most part, it's pretty clean. It looks like I got a little blue in here, but let's go ahead. Let's take a little bit of yellow, see what this does here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of yellow down here. Oh, that's nice. Got a few streaks from the green, but not too much. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and wiggle this. Now, this may not transition very good, because like I said, remember, it's going to blend in there uh, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and take a little bit more of that green that I had, just kind of run it over the top. All right, the paint just essentially absorbed into the paper, and it's really, really hard to control that. All right, you just got to kind of do, do, do your best, make it work. Um, if you're working on a canvas, you're not going to run into that so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brush here on my, my paper. All right, and you're just going to go keep going down. Now, let's say I maybe want to transition from my yellow into kind of more of an orangish color. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of an orange. I just call this more of a vermilion. All right, once again, you're just going to wiggle it. All right, just wiggle it back and forth. All right, I'm going to get kind of some fresh paper towel here to kind of roll this over. I'm just going to run this right over the top. Now, don't be afraid to go back and grab a little bit more color. Because like I said, that yellow, ooh, is a tough one to mix because it's so bright, so light, and all other pigments just want to kind of take it over. All right, so this looks good. And you want to go ahead and you're just going to keep transitioning this down all the way to the bottom, okay? So that's going to be for your first one, guys, a nice smooth blend, getting that transition down. The next one is you can use a little bit of a smaller brush if you want. I, I had one over here, but golly gee, do you think I could find it? No. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make it work with this one right here. All right, once again, you wanna use a flathead brush. You can use a round for this one, a little bit of the pointier brushes as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the flathead brush and kind of use this. So to kind of start out the same way, I wanna go ahead, let's go ahead. I'm gonna start with yellow this time, you guys. I wanna go ahead yellow. Oop, looks like my red's mixing with my yellow here. That's quite all right. Oh boy, did it ever. All right, never mind. We're gonna start with some orange here, everybody. All right, we're gonna start with some orange, kind of work a little bit of this in. Now, the technique is this. You almost wanna just make little X patterns with the paint, all right? And you wanna transition from one color to another. Now, notice once again, I'm kind of doing what I did for the blend. All right, doing the X patterns, kind of bringing it down. But then in between here, okay, I get what I call a dry brush. You kind of just get all that excess paint off your brush. 
and you just create little X's in between here. Now, if the paint dries a little quick, it's kind of hard to lift it back up, but actually this isn't too bad. Now, this particular technique does have more texture to it, but you can see there is, there is a blend that's taking place in through here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of this. You know, I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue and put this into my red here as well. There we go. All right, ooh, boy, we're getting nice and purpley. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of put a little bit of this kind of purple on here. Oh, I like that, that's kind of pretty. All right, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this red if I can. Oh boy, kind of running out of room here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this in between here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more in here because my red's starting to kind of disappear. Get that dry brush like I did before. All right, and once again, you just kind of work on blending and getting that texture to kind of come through here, kind of come out. There you go. Almost looks a little bit like the trees in the background there too. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blend down to blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put a little bit of blue here. Once again, get your dry brush. And you don't have to clean off your brush. Because if you get if you start cleaning off your brush, sometimes you get a little too much water on here and it can kind of uh, loosen up your paints and they kind of run all over the place. All right? If you just dry brush it, you should be perfectly fine. Okay. All right, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and kind of transition from blue into, oh, I don't know, a green here. It's kind of more of a avocado green but that still works for us all right and once again I'm just gonna go ahead just kind of cross it out and through here make sure you get that dry brush if you get too much paint on here like right now I got too much of that green on there I don't want to kind of overtake my blue here just gotta make sure you dry brush that's kind of the key element there all right that's not too bad I got a nice little turquoise that's kind of developing in between there too all right so you're just gonna keep doing this one all the way down as well all right now the last one I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this brush here. I'm gonna get some more paper towels, kind of fold this over here, all right? The last one, I like to use a utility brush, okay? And this is a great technique to kind of create the illusion um, of trees, maybe, or, I'm sorry, leaves that you find in the trees, maybe, you know, kind of some, some poofy grass in the field and whatnot like that. It creates kind of a nice little texture with that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use some different paints here for this as well. I got some acrylic paints here. This kind of works a little bit better because they're a little bit thicker, but I think I can still make them work with the temper, but we're gonna try this. So first thing is this, okay? We learned our lessons. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dab a little bit of that yellow up at the top here. Kind of just dab it, okay? Just dab. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of a greenish color here. I'm gonna mix up some of this green. Ooh, that looks nice too. All right, we're just gonna go, ooh. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of green here. Now, once again, like we did before, you're gonna go ahead and dry brush it, get all that excess paint off of there. All right, and you're just gonna go ahead and just slowly dab them together. Now, I'm barely pressing down. All right, just barely pressing down. You know, and as I mentioned too, I like these brushes because they have a little bit more texture to them. You can go ahead and use one of these as well, it does. Um, you just, you can't cover as much space sometimes, and also too, you lose a little bit of that texture. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a texture on your brush, okay? We're gonna go ahead, ooh, grab a little bit of kind of a turquoise color here. All right, once again, get that excess paint off of here, okay? All right, and just slowly kind of dab that up. Okay. And you can, you can see how, oh, wow, it's got a nice little uh, texture to this. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of blue straight up. You know, that's one thing too, that I, I remember when I was in school, I had a professor who said, you never wanna take paint directly from the tube or the, or the pint that you're taking it from. You always wanna mix it with another color. It makes it that much more interesting. And you know what, he was right. It does, you really wanna kinda mix it up a little bit. Ooh, I'm adding a little bit of white now. Ooh, nice. All right, gonna do this. You know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna dry brush it. I'm gonna try to, Ooh, look at that, because the white is so light, it actually mixes really nice. I didn't even have to dry brush that, all right? Nice little transition there too, okay? But once again, working on just kind of getting a blending, which is the, kind of that technique too. You know, three very different techniques, but all have kind of the, kind of their purpose and use. Um, you can use them with, with each other, you can use just one throughout a whole painting, doesn't really matter. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you enjoyed this video, at least I hope you did. Good luck putting your sketchbook, can't wait to see what you create.